From fish to eels to sea spiders, we've got a whole bunch of strange, creepy, and downright bizarre creatures to talk about while we cover the top nine deep sea creatures that came straight out of a nightmare. Starting off off in our number five spot today, we have the Atlantic Wolffish. Okay, these guys are named due to their teeth and honestly, you can totally understand why. On both the upper and lower jaw, they have six sharp and strong teeth that honestly would freak anyone out because of how strong their teeth are. They tend to eat hard shell creatures like crustaceans and mollusks, and they also are important to keeping the sea urchin and green crab population in check. The wolffish like to stay mostly in one area and tend to live in near freezing temperatures. They have a very cool feature though because they live in such cold temperatures. They have what is basically just antifreeze running through their bodies so that they don't freeze up even though they look super creepy. I have to admit that it's pretty sweet. In our number four spot today, we have the fangtooth fish. The fangtooth fish has a mouthful of razor sharp teeth perfect for clutching just about any size of prey in its jaw. That's right, any size. They live in the deepest parts of the ocean, the deepest having been recorded at about 16 Zeroft. That is until they just so happen to feel like migrating up to the surface for a little vacation. Unlike a lot of other deep sea dwellers, fan twos do not have any bioluminescent organs to attract their prey. But that is because they're not the sit and wait kind of predator, and instead they seek out their meal using their excellent sense of smell. They're more active than most deep sea dwellers and heavily rely on any light that may seep into their dark home. In our number three spot today, we have the deep sea lizard fish. Deep sea lizard fish are a small family of deep water fish who are related to the telescope fish. These guys have flat heads and curved barbed teeth, and they grow to about 78 cm, or 31 inches in length, which makes them a pretty moderately sized fish. They prefer to stay at depths of 1,600 meters or 5,200, and they are actually one of the world's deepest living apex predators. These lizard fish are known to eat anything that comes their way, including other fish of their own kind. That's messed up. Despite the lack of light in the depths of the ocean, these guys have large eyes and pupils, and their vision is actually really important for their prey detection as well as their well-developed eyes that allow them to see any residual or bioluminescent light. Not a lot is known about their production habits, but one thing that is known is that the deep-sea lizard fish have both male and female reproductive organs, which is thought to be an adaptation to low population density. In our number two spot today, we have the faceless cusk eel. Anything that's called faceless certainly can't be good, and this eel is absolutely no exception. These guys don't have a face, and they honestly look like the dementors of the deep sea. The first time one of these was found was in 1873 when oceanographers aboard the HMS Challenger discovered it. But for a century, no one else really came across one of these guys. Perhaps it's because they like to make their home in the icy waters, located about 13 zeroff below the surface of the ocean. Just a few years ago, when these guys were sort of rediscovered, one of the leaders of the expedition, Tim O'Hara, told the Guardian that, quote, it looks like two rear ends on the fish. Really? Apparently the mouth of these guys sits underneath its body and can extend out to catch food before disappearing back inside its own body. So that's kind of gross. It's kind of cool. In our number one spot today, we have the hagfish. There are about 76 different species of hagfish, and some of them are known to live as deep as 5,500 below the surface of the ocean, while the hagfish isn't particularly the best name. They are also known by an equally disgusting name of slime eels, and this is because their body produces a sort of goop that is used to ward off predators. This slime that they release has recently been found to impair the function of a predator's gills, so it seems as though it's a pretty effective shield. Aside from this defense mechanism, if their slime doesn't work and they find themselves still caught in the grasp of a predator, they can sort of tie themselves into a knot in order to escape the clutches. All right, guys. That has been our list returning today. Thanks so much for checking it out.